Yo, 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 what is up, you guys? Bunny Games here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Part 4. So, in our previous episode, we made it back to this little town here. I think the name is Ballet City, something like that. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and capture a second member of our team, real quick. You know, like, why not, right? Like, we're just starting a new game, you know, is this the time to just like go ahead and and catch a new member for our team and you know that's how it's gotta be bro we gotta be doing all of this but you guys might already know which pokemon i'm trying to catch right now because we can find it in this game right now and the one who we're gonna be catching is but before that guys how are you how you been how are you guys i hope that you guys are having a fantastic day right now that you guys are taking care of yourself and that you're being Good people, you feel me? You gotta be good, you gotta be doing all that good stuff, and I hope the oh, the God blesses you all and always having a good day and all of that good stuff. Also, okay, so I know that you saw me killing that Jiru because you know that Jiru got me tight, he was looking at me funny, but we should be able to find the Pokemon that we want right now, probably not yet, because you know Jiru keeps appearing. We're just gonna keep on, you know, attacking it because we're close to level 11, right? And we gotta get that level up, you feel me? Because we want Chico to be as strong as possible for every trainer that we got, uh, every trainer, every gym leader, for all that stuff. We want her to be as strong as possible so we can just, like, get ready to destroy anybody that comes to our path, you feel me? And we can just destroy them. So we're just gonna keep moving on a little bit and see if we can encounter the Pokemon that we want. You guys might already know, and that's right, that it's a Subat. It's like, who doesn't like Subats, right? I love, I personally love Subats. I love the Final Evolution, Crawback, pretty amazing Pokemon, I have to say. So that's why I always get a Subat, like, in my gameplays. When it comes to, like, Pokemon Fire Red, all that stuff, I always, or any other Pokemon, the, you're capable of having, like, any Pokemon from other regions, basically, like, letting them evolve to the last evolution. I always love Subats. I know that he's pretty annoying when you're trying to like walk around and all and do all that stuff, but uh, you know, I, I know that he's pretty annoying. Like always finding him around and all that stuff, but you don't even want to fight him or want him in your team. So like you know, but hopefully I get to find a Subat right now so we can just go ahead and get him to our team. Because we keep finding Geodoot and we want Geodoot. I think it's is because of the of the time. That could be because of the time because right now it seems to be like Probably like the afternoon, I think. Ah, no, 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 never mind, never mind. And we found a Subat just what we want. Level 2, doesn't matter. He's pretty weak right now. So he's just gonna go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Ooh! We ain't gotta even damage him because he's already level 2. Like, what we're gonna do? If we attack him, he's going to die. So we don't need to worry about anything because we already got the Subat. A dap, dap, dap. Alright, we finally got the Subat. So what we're gonna do right now is. One second, one second. Should we, we should give him a nickname, right? Let's give him a nickname. Let's call him uh, mm, a name for Suba, huh? Something that is super amazing. How about we call him? Uh, <laughs> okay, I got, I got the perfect name. I don't know if he, if he's really see or not. Oh, doesn't matter. So we just go call him Belos. That's how. That's like, you know, like fast in Spanish, basically. Cause you know, like Crobat basically has like a lot of like speed when it comes to like, you know, his final evolution. So we finally added a second, that second member of our team, which is Belos. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead. Wait. Okay. Ooh. Press the wrong stuff. I was pressing, was pressing A instead of B. Oh, oh, we gotta encounter some Pokemons. We don't, we don't like that. We don't want to, to touch no Pokemon. Ooh, are we, should we have a Victrio? Should we? Nah, nah, nah. I don't think. I don't think we don't. Nah, we don't need no Victrio. No Victrio, not Victrio. What am I saying? I keep messing up and stuff. That shouldn't be happening. When we're trying to do this, let's play Pokemon. Yeah, I think this is part four, right? Yeah, part four. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm already like. Losing track on which episode I am already. So we right now, what we're gonna do is 
we're going to go up ahead. We don't need to heal or anything of that sort. So we're just gonna go up and I suppose that there's like something here, the Bell Sprout Tower or something. So we're just gonna go ahead. There's the gym leader. We're not gonna fight him yet because we're pretty weak. We're gonna be going inside the best the Bell Sprout house. You know, see what's popping in here. Sprout Tower. I think that this is where we find Ghastly, I think. If we find a Ghastly, all I know is that we're going to catch him. We're going to catch that Ghastly. Ghastly is pretty OP, especially Gengar. Who doesn't love a Gengar, right? One of the best Pokemon ever. Woo! We're going to go ahead and get right into this battle real quick. We're going to teach this monk a lesson. Sage Nico, okay. Damn. They got them Grass-type Pokemons. Well, we got a grass type Pokemon also. If it was a fire type, we could just like be destroyed then like pop, 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 super quickly. But that doesn't matter because our Chico is capable of one hit KOing them Pokemon. Just what <coughs> the homie Gecko couldn't do back in the previous episode. I mean, he, he just couldn't do it right now, but I mean, that's still a pretty good achievement. He's doing all that good stuff. So we're just gonna go and keep on going on with this. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirp, chirping in, in the background, hopefully not because you know my birds are pretty crazy when I'm around recording. It seems like they want to join in and talk to you guys and all that stuff so I don't really want it to be like disturbing. Also it seems to be raining outside right now, there's like thunder and all that stuff which is the perfect mood to play a game or like record or whatever because you know like when it's raining and stuff you get that little mood over there that you feel like everything's like pretty awesome while you're watching something or playing something so you get like mo you get a lot more motivated so you know it's a lot better like that you know I, I really love the rain you're like who doesn't love the rain right who doesn't love I mean like we love it when we don't have to go out tired and stuff like that when we have uh, when we have like a special special party or some type of stuff and it starts to rain that's when we hate it but when we don't have to do anything and we just gotta stay inside the house you know just chilling doing our thing and it starts to rain you hit the thunder cloud and all that stuff going down all that stuff and you just over there like yeah this is my stuff right here and you're just chilling and taking it easy but then when you gotta go outside and it starts raining and you're like god damn it my pants are all ruined now i gotta stay inside or when you gotta go like a birthday party and all that good stuff but you know that's just how it be you know that rainy mood is the best out of all of them snow I don't really like the snow because, you know, like, I mean, I like it because, like, I don't have to go outside, you know? I mean, but sometimes when I gotta go outside and stuff, you know, I, I really hate the snow because, like, it starts getting in your shoes, in your boots or whatever, and then it get, like, really dirty, you know, because of all the, because of all the cars and stuff, and, you know, like, all the dirt fused with the snow and stuff, and it gets all messed up and ugly, and, nah, the snow is only beautiful when it's falling down, or like, when you see it for the first time, it starts piling up. But yeah, you know, all that good stuff. So right now we're just waiting for Chico to take over the Bell Sprouts. Woo! Level 12 already. 54, 54 experience. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I think that I'm still sick from that, from that time. Hopefully I'm not because, you know, just a little cough. Maybe because of this dust or something here. Because right now I'm in the Blanny studio, you know, this is where the magic happens and all that stuff. And sometimes, sorry if I don't, if I don't record on time or like start uploading videos on time. Because, you know, sometimes I wake up pretty late so I don't have the time to like come here and record. So I just like call it a day type of thing. And yeah, focus on like finishing something else. Ooh, a Pokemon. Who could it be? Okay. It's a rat attack. Nah, we don't want no rat attack. We came here looking for Ghastly. I mean, yeah, Ghastly. Is there any... Another Pokemon? Could it be a Ghastly? No. Another rat attack. We don't want no rat attacks. I told you, bro. Stop appearing. You're, you're starting to become like Subats. I mean, I'll train Subats later on. Get him to level 10. You know, gotta do some training of him. Gotta get them strong. You know, so we can start taking over. That will probably, I'll probably, I'll level him up when I'm going to battle the the next, the first gym leader, which is, I don't know who he is, but 
I'll have him to level. I'll have Chico on level 15, I think. I won't evolve him. I think he evolves on level 16, I suppose. Probably. And then I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have the loss in level 10. We don't want to get too close to our, to our main Pokemon's level. You know, to just have it like apart a little bit. You know, and be ready for battle. You can't be like skipping to like a lot of levels because like usually you know like I said like I stated before usually I level my Pokemon up to level 20 before I move out of town you stay there grinding and grinding to level 20 and once I'm done with that and if I catch another Pokemon I get them to level 20 also because you know I gotta have all my Pokemon super strong for any battle situation that's gonna come and I won't be able to like heal them up or stuff or any of that stuff so my Pokemon will be capable of just like one hit KOing all of them and I don't have to worry about anything don't gotta be wasting money on potions don't gotta be pulling those those champions that be like spamming repels and all that now, I mean not repels but like super potions and all that stuff and yeah I know that you're weak bro so you better step your game up I mean of course you're gonna be weak if you have so many bell spells right what's wrong with you okay so I suppose this is the end of the tower right now Right here, freaking Bulbies over here, lining up in line, ready to get destroyed by I, the ultimate champion, Blandy Games. <coughs> Sorry about that again. Woo. I wanna be getting sick, man. I despise being sick. Okay, so he got a Bell Sprout level 6, the strongest that I've seen so far. So he's gonna go ahead and keep on tackling this dude. Hopefully, I tackle this isn't running out of. This isn't running out. Hold on, we gotta check. 17 PP. Okay. I gotta get something to keep our PP up. No. Not like that though, but you know. Gotta keep it up. Can't be losing our weight here, you know. I don't need to This is a square sure made me hurt. Bro. Too powerful for you, bro. Maybe if you apply some What was the name of that brother that you apply on your head? And your and your hair starts growing? Yeah, grow more or something like that. Maybe they should apply some of that so they can like experience the power of having hair. Cause you know how it be like, de depending on which type of hairstyle you got, that shows how strong you are. If you got a super dope hairstyle, you're freaking OP. <coughs> Once again, I'm sorry for coughing, all that stuff. You know, guys, I ain't got no Ebola. I ain't got none of that stuff. None of those weird virus, those weird ass names that they be giving stuff nowadays. Yeah, I mean, your head is pretty bright. Freaking Bobby looking like Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. Trying to, trying to solar flare my eyesight, boy. Uh, relax. I mean, we got Chico here to protect us from these blind people, bro. I mean, from these bold people. That's about level 7. Oh, damn. Why did I use racing? Well, that grass. Fuck. Damn, we even got a critical hit. That's amazing. Hopefully, we don't have to fire a rival here, right? Because, like, I don't want my PP to be running out. He has Cyndaquil, you know, it's a fire type, so. Gotta be careful out here. Because we don't wanna. We don't wanna be getting defeated by our freaking. Uh, rival. Cause like when I beat Pokemon Fire Red, I lost to Gary. Like, are you serious? Who who loses to Gary? Then I beat Pokemon Emerald and I lost to May. Are you serious? Who loses to May? She probably only stole. So. But you know that happened, so I was like, oh, oh well. But we didn't lose in this one, which is pretty amazing. I have to say, we didn't lose in this one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. You know. Now that Chico was the one that we needed, he was the main man, the chosen one. So we made it, we made it. We chose the right starter, and now we're gonna we're going to defeat the game with our starter, the boy Chico. Do we got any potions? Cause I feel that we're gonna be fighting someone. Hey, we got eight potions. That's good. That's good. Gotta get that. Gotta get that HP up. Okay, that, here's the rival. Do we have to fight? Damn, that old man looking good, though. 
You show us what you got, and this shouldn't be good. Take this stuff you call machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are tools of war. I told the way though. <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot be beat. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Dang, he got them scape ropes. Do I even have a scape rope? Wait, I suppose that that one over there is scape rope. And we found a Pokemon. Is it a ghastly? Could it be the ghastly? That ain't no freaking ghastly, bro. That's freaking Rata. If I use a shiny Rata, then that would be something else. If I use a shiny Rata, then yeah, boy. We made it. What's up, Elder? So good of you to come here. The Sprout Tower is a place of training people and Pokemon testing bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. I'm going to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Alright, oh dude, let's do this! Damn! This is eyebrows on point! Like, legit, they on point! You saw his beard? It was like... She was shiny! Looked like Edward from Twilight. Was shining and sparkling and all that stuff. Wait, wasn't his bell sprout supposed to be level 9? I think. Not really sure. But level 7? Let's see. Oh, okay. Wait. Hoo -hoo. He has 3 Pokemon. God damn. Level 10. Hoo -hoo. I'm just gonna spam race here. Because you know. We got nothing to lose, right? I know it's a psychic fly flying type. Pet. Damn. It's gonna hit us hard. I should use po poison power. I'll use it after this match. Sometimes I don't even use those other moves that I get. I don't even know why I get them, but you know, I just like have them there because why not, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and poison power use hoo hoo. Thinking he's slick. You see peck, bro? Chill, that's not cool. It's gonna be super peck. He's hurt by poison. And now we take you out with a, with a tackle. What the hell? He's not there yet? Damn, this is whole beat. Okay, at least he died though. So we're gonna you go ahead and use a potion. Uh, keep battling in peace. Wait, I don't need a potion. I can just use synthesis. Hey, okay, he's gonna use Bind Whip, that's not gonna do anything to us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Poison Powder. How you gonna miss, Chico? Chico, please, Chico. We go way back, remember? You never miss an attack. You just said, oh, you just hang a fat. My apologies, I gotta step on my knowledge of Pokemon. What's wrong with me? Keep forgetting my stuff, I think I only have two left. Think right? Only got one left. Of I can take him out with, with some racial leaf real quick. That shouldn't be a problem. Now let's go high and racial leaf. And da, should probably take out that bell spot, right? Hell yeah, we took out the bell spot. And da, guys, we finally did it. Chico is the one, the main man, the chosen one. <coughs> Yeah, I'm sorry once again. I don't know why I keep coughing. Hmm. The way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to fuck. Who the hell is that? And you should be able to make good use of it. It's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. <coughs> My apologies once again. I don't know why I keep coughing. Probably, I'm probably thirsty. I need some water. Hey, the escape rope. We're just going to use the escape rope because we're not real lazy, right? If anybody wanna be walking, just go ahead and use the skate rope, and that should take us out of here, boy. Damn, look at Chico spinning around like a, like like a Beyblade. Okay, let's go, Blanny. We gotta go to the Pokemon Center and end this episode. Yeah, because we're getting ready for episode five, which is fighting the tournament. I mean, the Pokemon. The gym leader of that gym over there. 
I'm gonna I'm also going to get Subat I mean Belos to level 10 so we can be ready to fight the, the gym leader all right guys so that concludes this episode of let's play Pokemon Soul Silver take care of yourself guys and see you on the next episode bye